Hey guys, welcome back to Cameron TV. So today I'm going to be showing you how to catch all the new fish in May in Animal Crossing's New Horizons. If this video is helpful and if you learn something from it, then please do consider liking and subscribing because it really does help the channel. And also turn on that notification bell so that you know when I upload a new video. It would also be really helpful if you could follow me on social media. I'm leaving the links down below so you can find them very easy. Now, the question of the day today is I want to know what your favorite fish is in all of the Animal Crossing franchise. For me, personally, I'd have to say the coelacanth, simply because of how rare it is. It's a very rare fish, and it is very hard to catch because it's a size six. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite fish is, because I want to know. Right, without any further ado, let's jump into the video. So like the bugs video, what I've done, I have split all this down into three different categories so that we can easily go through the fish that we can catch. And we're gonna be starting off with the fish that can be found in the ponds. Now there's only two fish, and these are relatively easy to catch. So you shouldn't really have much of an issue but let's jump in okay so the first fish that we need to catch is the catfish now this fish can be found between May and October and it spawns between the hours of 4 p.m. and 9 a.m. make sure you bear that in mind because I spent a whole morning looking for it only for it to not spawn this fish is size 5 and when found in the museum it can be found just lazily swimming floating doing nothing my kind of fish and they are pretty common. I had no problem catching this when I found it in the right time. So you shouldn't have any issue whatsoever, really. Okay, and the next fish that we need to catch is the frog. Now the frog can be caught all day between the months of May and August, and it is a size two fish. It is pretty small. Um, it's a size two fish, it's very small. And when found in the museum, he can just be found he can just be found chilling right there on his lily pad having an absolute whale of a time it's pretty common it's not hard to catch so you should be sweet okay so we've come to the end of ponds now so we are now onto the river there are four different type of fish that can be caught here um they're all fairly common and they're all easy to catch so don't you worry whatsoever they should not be an issue. And without further ado, let's jump into the river and get wet. Yeah. Okay, so to kick things off in the river, we are starting off with the angelfish. Now, the angelfish can be found between May and October. Like the catfish, this fish can be found between the hours of 4 p.m. and 9 a.m. It is small, it's a size two, and it is fairly uncommon. So it's one of the rarer fish that we can catch in the river, but like I say, you should not have an issue with it. Okay, so now that you've caught the angel fish, the next fish that you need to catch is the beta, or the better, or I'm um, better off <laughs> not worrying about it. This fish can be caught between May and October, between the hours of 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. It is a size two, it's a small fish, and it is fairly uncommon, like the angelfish. And I did say that that was the rarest fish, but I've lied to you, I'm sorry. This fish can be found in the river, obviously. <laughs> I just like this fish. I think this fish is really nice. It's aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> okay, so you better have caught that fish because this next fish is called the nibblefish. The nibblefish can be found between May and September. It is a tiny fish, it's only size one and it can be caught between the hours of 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. This fish, once again, is, you guessed it, uncommon. But anyway, guess where it can be found in the museum? You guessed it, in the same tank as the previous two fish, and in the same tank as the next fish as well. So let's get on to it. Well, that was quick. We're now on to the final fish of the river category. This fish is the rainbow fish. It can be found between the months of May and October and between the hours of the other two fish. It is a size of one, it's a, it's a tiny boy, and it is uncommon. So, good luck with it. Right, final category. <laughs> The pier fish. I just want to start by saying these fish are absolute wank. I hate them. The mahi mahi and the the giant trevally, true valley. I don't I don't like this fish enough to care. Good luck catching these fish, okay? Because they are horrible. They are wankers. 
They are awful to catch. I've nearly lost my catching these fish, all right? They are horrible to catch. Okay, so the first fish that we have in this category is the giant tree valley. This fish is a size five. It's a big boy. It is a This fish is uncommon. That is a lie. That is a massive lie. It is not uncommon. It is rarer. It is it is non-existent. Um, it can be found between the months of May and October and they spawn all day at the pier. This is a horrible fish, but not as horrible as what is coming up. The final fish that we need to catch is called the Mahi Mahi. I hate this fish. Oh my God, I hate it. It can be found between the months of May and October. It is very large, it's a size five. It is one big boy. And like the giant tree valley, it spawns all day. And this fish is rare, it does have that classification. Like the giant tree valley, this fish is also a It does look pretty cool though, I'll give it that. It does look very impressive with the colour scheme that it's got. And it even looks like my friend. I'm not gonna say his name, but he'll know who he is because he has a massive forehead and a very bad hairline. Hey guys, if you got to this part of the video, then thank you so, so much. It really does mean the world to me. Comment down below with what your favorite fish is because I do wanna know. And I should have the social medias popping up now. So make sure to follow me on that. The guy, the guy who said looks like the Mahi Mahi has just called me as well. Look, look at look at that hairline. That that hairline, that, that hairline is absolutely brilliant. Like, just look at him. They call it the McDonald's hairline. The McDonald's hairline, yeah. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And with that, goodbye. <laughs> brilliant.